listening. Today, we are going to be discussing part two of dating tips with women in your, well, I'm sorry, dating tips for women and men in your 50s. I am so glad you're here. And if you will watch this in the future, you will again see that we are talking about part two. Joyce joined us a couple of weeks ago and we had a very good discussion. So we thought we would come back and do a part two. And again, I do have my notes because if I don't have my notes sometime, I will zero off into a whole nother conversation. <laughs> so I think Joyce decided to go ahead without her notes. So we're just, what I did, like I did last time is I just had five quick little things that we wanted to discuss that I would ask Joyce mm -hmm. about and then get her opinion on it. And then I would kind of give you guys a little bit of my opinion. And as we know, this dating in our 50s and your 60s, 70s, or whatever age you are today, it gets a little tough. I think it gets a little tough because we're now older. We, you know, we know what we want. Like we said last week, know your expectations. What are you looking for? You know, all of those good things. So we're going to kick it off today. I wanted to ask Joyce, this is a question that I see on a lot of dating apps and a lot of things that people will ask. Would you go 50-50 with a man? So let's, you know, and when I say, would you go 50-50, meaning, are you looking to go 50-50 where you're like, okay, 50 of his income, 50 of my income, you know, because I think now in today, guys are wanting women to go 50-50. Back in the day when it was my dad married to my mom, it was more like he was the sole provider. Okay, um, my thoughts on that is, is kind of a little tricky, I would say. I would say, let's say, for instance, if you're you're a married couple, okay, I'm speaking of marriage um, rather than, I guess, the dating. Um, if you're married, I feel like this is my point of view on it. The man should be able to provide the place where you live, meaning that whether y'all are renting, he should be able to pay all of that rent or whether you all have a mortgage, he should be able to pay all of that mortgage. So he should make sure that the home is secure as far as like the place where you all live. When it comes to the other bills that you all might have in the house, or it's like, you know, your utilities and insurance and all of those things or whatever, then yes, I feel like you all should do 50-50 on those. But as far as like securing the place where you are going to live, I think that's the man's responsibility. That's just my point of view. And that's just how I would, you know, if it was me in the situation, if I'm married or whatever, I would get that out up front, you know, to him and let him know this is my expectations 